This is what a mega thrust earthquake can do. A magnitude 9.0 off the coast of Japan five years ago. And beneath the beauty of mountains and ocean on Canada's west coast, the same kind of earthquake is waiting to strike. But at this Vancouver school, students and staff will get an early warning and a chance to take cover before the shaking starts. part of a pilot project for an earthquake early warning system designed by UBC. It gives us a warning that we did not have before. We could only react at the impact of an earthquake. Now we have seconds, potentially minutes. And even seconds can be critical. When an earthquake strikes, the energy released is sent out as seismic waves in all directions. The fastest waves, the waves that arrive first, don't actually shake the ground in a damaging way. In fact, we can't even feel these primary or P waves, but sensors can. There is a lag between those waves and the arrival of the more damaging waves that do shake the ground back and forth, shear or S waves. Those warnings can be sent out to mobile phones, radio and TV. They can stop traffic at bridges, halt surgeries. And the farther away you are from the epicenter, the more time you have between the warning and the shaking. Which is exactly what happened across the south coast of BC on December 29th. Kent Johansson and his family had a 13 second warning before the earth moved. Tell me what, it, what the earthquake felt like. It felt like this. Her dad is the designer behind UBC's Earthquake Early Warning System, a network of sensors that work together to detect damaging earthquakes. And here comes the S-wave, S-wave going up here. And now we're at 50 seconds, 51, 52, bang. That was 13 seconds and now comes the North Shore. Now Johansson is working on a home alarm and an app that the public can use to connect to the early warning network via the internet. UBC isn't the only group working on an earthquake early warning system in BC though. We have these sensors in the ground and they're buried about 50 to 100 feet apart from one another and they are constantly listening for earthquake activity, S wave, P wave. Shake Alarms technology uses standalone units rather than a network of sensors. Earthquake approaching, take cover. There's an alarm here at the George Massey Tunnel a major highway in Metro Vancouver where thousands of cars pass every day. The moment the sensor detects the first wave of a damaging earthquake, the tunnel closes to traffic. Their new home version also offers early warning for a monthly fee. There is one other major group working on a solution, Ocean Networks Canada. This research group from the University of Victoria has something that UBC and Shake Alarm don't, sensors on the ocean floor where the big one will strike giving vital extra seconds of warning for all the early detection systems. And that's where the BC government is putting their money. That's why we're providing Ocean Networks Canada with $5 million investment towards its seismic program. The group will be adding more ocean sensors to help with early warnings, but their focus has been on detecting the big one, which will hit under the waters of the Pacific Ocean. So to create a comprehensive system, they'll be partnering with UBC and companies like Shake Alarm who have the technology to actively monitor other quakes closer to home. And if all goes according to plan, the system should be in place within the next couple of years, hoping to ensure that when the next one hits, we all know before the shaking starts. Johanna Wagstaff, CBC News, Vancouver.